Hello all, Robby here, and today I'll be showcasing a new game on the Lenovo Legion Go. And the game in particular is Throne of Liberty. Um, this is a Korean MMO that is published in the West by Amazon Game Studios. Um, the game is set to launch in early September, but as of yesterday, the game came out in open beta for anyone to give it a try. Um, right now, it's an open beta for PC, PS5, and also Xbox um, Series X and S consoles. Um, so if you want to give the game a try, you can go ahead and um, download it and play it. Now, um, for those who have been following this channel for a while, you know that, you know that I'm a big fan of MMOs. And one of the things I've been hoping for is to have a relatively new MMO that looks good, plays well, has decent combat and good story, but is also portable in regards I can take with me on the go. And this seems to fit the bill pretty well. And so I'm currently in my character, uh, character screen. And before we dive into how the game plays on the Lenovo Legion Go, let's take a look at the settings of my Legion Go. And so here, we can see my settings. I'm at 1200p, 60 hertz, um, RSR is off. And also, in regards to my, perform um, my game mode, I'm running in performance mode. Uh, thermal TDP is in performance, which is 20 watt TDP because I'm playing off of battery. I'm not plugged into power at all. And also my OS is set to efficiency. And so now in game also, let me go out of that and go back in game real quick to show you my settings. Now on the graphic settings, you notice that it's showing two things here. The first one where it says monitor is the total resolution of the monitor you're playing on. Now the Lenovo Legion Go screen goes all the way up to 1600p, but that is not what I'm playing on. You notice on the resolution here, I'm playing at 800p resolution, um, 16 by 10. And also my quality, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Give me a second, let me pull that back up. There we go. And also on the quality, you notice my settings, my graphical settings is set to medium all the way down. I can fine tune this a little bit more to get more performance out of the game. But um, medium seems to be a good balance between graphical fidelity and also in regards to frame rate performance. That's why I left it at medium. Now, uh, this is the game. I can see how it runs smoothly. And I'm also in town. Notice that the FPS is hovering between the high 50s and 60s. Since I have it FPS locked to 60 FPS, I can make it go higher if I want. But I am in town. And for anyone who's played this game, you know that in town, when the, whenever there's a lot of people, all the MP, all the characters you see with the um, with the diamond shape on top are all different players playing. Uh, for anyone who's played this game on the PC, you know that you get a significant performance hit whenever you're in town, especially a town square like this, where there are hundreds of players on the screen at once. Um, so far, from the little I've played in the game, the game plays really, really well. Um, pretty smoothly too, especially since I'm playing on a handheld device. And not just any handheld device, I'm playing on a Lenovo Legion Go. But I'm also playing an MMO with hundreds of players at a, on the screen at a time. And it's an open world game too. So here I am, just running around. Um, I'm going to go towards one of my um, quest objectives. It is all the way over there. Now once in a while, whenever it's transitioned to specific scenes you may see the fps drop into the 30s but i think it's a um it's something that i'm gonna address when it comes to optimizing the game but you can you'll notice that it also corrects itself pretty quickly and so back in the high 50s let me go this way but like i said the game looks really really good now one of the things i also enjoy the most about this game is in regards to how well the game plays on a controller set in here, and uh, which is one of the reasons why I decided to cover this game. Because you don't have to play with a keyboard or mouse, you can play with a controller if you choose to, and this is perfect for the Lenovo Legion Go. What that means is that I don't have to take anything extra with me, like my uh, portable mouse and keyboard. I can just play directly from the controllers itself. And uh, one of the other cool things is regards to the control system for controllers, it's not just tacked in attacked on they actually you can tell they actually took time making sure that the controls feel good and i'll show what i mean by that in this simple example here so i'm using i'm using my sword and shield here and i can go ahead and start attacking this guy here and i can also do abilities with it 
That's one of it right there. And it plays really well. Now, I just picked up an item there. Oh, I'm supposed to release that. That's one of my abilities there. Now, let me switch to my um, longbow so you can see what I mean, how fast-paced the combat can be. So, let me go up here real quick, go to my skills. Actually, let me go to my inventory first. Switch my secondary weapon to my longbow. And then, after that, I'll go back in and go into my skills and switch out the skills on my secondary slot to match that of my longbow. The hamstring ability here, I like using it on Y. The charge shot, I like using it on my B button. And then the rapid shot, I like using it on this over here. There we go. I can see I have it set. Now, one of our cool things here is that even with the combat, you can chain different types of combos. So let me switch to my longbow here. So while I'm attacking this guy, watch this. Well, if he, if he decides to come over. Let me attack this guy here. Now the cool thing with this watch, I can switch. Let's see, I can switch abilities real quick while also using my longbow at the same time. So basically going into my melee and going straight into my longbow right there. Let's go to my location there. Now, one of the things you also notice is that as I'm playing, sometimes it holds steady at 60s, sometimes it drops into the mid 50s, sometimes even the low 50s. But the fact that it's this smooth is the beauty here. Now, one of the other things you can also do if you want it to be a lot sharper in terms of the visuals, you can also change the settings back, and I'll do that real quick. And on here, I'm gonna change it back to 1200p. Now, one of the things you notice is that you take a performance hit. So you can see instead of me being in the high 50s and 60s, I'm now in the low 50s. It'll probably drop into the high 40s. But the trade-off there is that things are a lot sharper also. You can see right now I'm in the 40s. Things are a lot sharper. You can see that that's in low 40s there during traversal. And so that's if you want to switch and that's an play over there running. In this game, we can shape shift too. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it back because I like my high FPS settings. So I'm going to turn it back to 800p. There we go. And I'm back into my high 60s again with the smooth gameplay. That's how that player there. Just doing the missions and stuff. And that's a whole bunch of players gathered around this NPC here. That's even pull up someone else's character card. There we go. I'm just gonna tap through that real quick. Now I don't bore you with quest details. One of the other things I did pretty well with the game is um, a lot of the lines are voiced. I just increased the volume up so you guys can hear some of it. But other than that, like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna, gonna attack this crab over here. And during uh, while fighting, if you look at my FPS, notice that it's in the high 50s, and sometimes goes into the 60s there. Hamstring attack here. There we go. And like I said, one of the things you notice is how smooth the game plays. And so the game so far, even though it's I'm playing the beta version of the game, um, it has a good amount of um, optimization in regards to it being able to run on mobile hardware like the Nova Legion Go. And the fact that I'm able to run in the high 50s into the 60s is amazing in itself. And I'm hoping that with the full release, more optimizations, optimizations is done for the game. 
Um, but yeah, this is Throne on Liberty. Uh, this is my character here. I've been having a blast so far. And um, I'm looking forward to the full release when it launches in early September. For those who are interested in trying out this game, especially on the Lenovo Legion Go devices, go ahead and give it a download now. Um, it's available on Steam. And with that, we'll be out. Happy gaming, everyone. Peace.